Today I'll be comparing different photo printing services here in Germany. Hi there, you lovely people. Welcome back. Today I'll be comparing different photography printing services here in Germany. What are the benefits? What are the best uses? Uh, pros, cons from every different company I've had contact with until now. So yeah, let's get started. The main three companies that I've been using to print photography work here in Germany are Vistaprint, uh, Poster XXL and uh, Sal Digital. And uh, I will be starting uh, first with Vistaprint because I've used them the most until now and I will go over what they offer and what I like about my work with them and what I don't like. So until now I've used Vistaprint uh, to print three different photo books as well as I've used it for business cards. Uh, regarding the photo books, uh, the, I've used three different sizes. I've used uh, the ML and XL sizes. Uh, so the M is 20 by 15 centimeters, L is 28 by 21, and XL is 39 by 29 centimeters, all are in landscape uh, orientation. There is also available a smaller size S, which is 13 by 10 centimeters, but I think that's, that's a bit too small. If you want to print uh, uh, nice uh, photographs, you can use it to make a, a small gift, for example, with even photos from your phone. To be fair, I actually used uh, some pictures uh, some photos that I took with my phone uh, on the L size and they came out quite good. They also have portrait uh, oriented books. Um, one size, I, th uh, I found just one size, which is 21 by 28 centimeters. They also have square sizes, which are 14 by 14, 21 by 21 and 30 by 30 centimeters. Uh, they have three different options for the uh, book covers. So uh, you have uh, either uh, linen, uh, I'm not sure if it's pronounced like, uh, exactly like that, sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Uh, they also have genuine letter and you, you can also print a, a photo as a cover. Uh, and the cool thing is you can actually use one photo that's uh, for both sides of the book. This is actually what I've done with um, the first photo book I printed that was a gift for my wife, a collection of photos that we either took with the camera or with our phones. And I used a photo from my phone for the entire cover, so that's uh, you can you can make the calculation. I printed it on a 28 by 21, and I stretched the entire fo uh, photo from the phone for the entire cover on both sides. And it came out quite nice, actually. Actually, I can show you. So this is the album. Let me focus. So this is this is an nice photo of a of two mugs we have because we love coffee and because the wife is always right so you can see that you can print uh photos taken from your phone even on such sizes it's quite big and i was actually surprised that it came out well so next thing they have as options is paper uh, for the paper they have standard and a matte paper which is not that uh, you don't have that much options. Uh, all of it is uh, the same. Uh, basically, photo paper. I can actually show you on my small album over here. It's quite thin and it's bendable. I would suggest um, to use it more as a gift of Vista Print. Although I've used it for my wedding album. Yeah, it's mainly because I wanted to go with big size prints and with a lot of pages. Uh, one of the things is that um, Vistaprint uh, offers uh, a bit more pages uh, in their books than uh, the other companies that I've used. So that's why I went with them. And uh, to be honest, the huge album cost, costs, which was the XL version, costs as much as an L version from uh, another company. I'm quite happy with them and how it turned out. Uh, also, they have amazing uh, support. Basically, the first album was damaged during transportation by the carrier. 
and I just call them, send them pictures of the package, how it was damaged, and uh, they send me a free, free replacement. So yeah, as I said, I wouldn't uh, suggest using Vistaprint for uh, high-end professional work, uh, but uh, you can use it uh, to print cheap, uh, cheaper books for, uh, uh, for your family archive, for example. You can use it for all types of uh, promotional materials like business cards, flyers, whatever marketing things you need. Basically, they have all of it available for printing. They also have some design tools which make it uh, quick and easy to design a business card or whatever. You don't need to spend hours in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, for example. You just uh, put, put in your logo, grab one of the presets uh, for the designs of the business cards and you're done. They come with a software regarding the photo books as well. Uh, so you can um, make the design yourself, uh, there, uh, add some clip art text, whatever you want. Uh, but um, what I didn't like about the software is that it comes only in German. Quite confusing at some points if you, if you don't know uh, perfect German and uh, some of the competitors do offer their software to be switched to English, which is really helpful. Uh, although from features and options, uh, I do find Vistaprint's software to be providing the most options and to be the most user-friendly of them all. So next one is Poster XXL. I honestly didn't like what they offer on their website for their photo books, so I haven't ordered any photo books from them. They don't look uh, anything like what I would order because they either have photo covers or uh, fabric uh, covers. I didn't see any leather options or something like that. I'm a big fan of uh, leather covers. I, I just think it looks better. Uh, they are more into the gifty uh, section as well. You can order uh, some uh, books from there, but what I've uh, found most of the times is that Mr. Print uh, tends to keep lower prices than Poster XXL, but they, uh, Poster XXL does have one thing that Vistaprint doesn't have is amazing printing solutions uh, for the wall, for example. You can directly order your print in a frame with a glass and everything, it's not that expensive. Uh, I've already ordered um, two times from them uh, different uh, uh, framed uh, prints. Uh, one is actually over here. This is one of the photos that I've ordered with a frame. You, you have different options for hanging it. And that's the main use uh, of, po uh, of Poster XXL that I have. Uh, I use them for prints, for hanging. They also make, as the name suggests, quite, quite good posters. They have a lot of, a lot, really, really, really a lot of options that you can choose from, like from materials, from frames, uh, from uh, whether you want glass or some uh, plastic on top or nothing at all. Uh, and um, the options are amazing. And of course, I mean, the, the more interesting ones cost more, but uh, I would say you would be really satisfied with the quality from, uh, from what they offer in, in this section. And the, ter uh, the third company I've worked with is Sal Digital. Uh, I hope it's pronounced like that. <laughs> Uh, they, they've actually uh, reached out recently and gave me a 100 euro um, coupon that I can use to test their printing services. So uh, I just wanted to mention this and I want, just want to say that uh, this review here is not going to be affected by the fact that they gave me this coupon. I'm trying to present you what they offer and what I've, what I've liked and what I didn't like uh, from from their services. So, Sal Digital in general uh, have higher uh, higher prices. Uh, like by, by higher prices, I mean almost double than Vistaprint. Uh, thankfully, this is um, matched with higher quality. So, I would suggest Sal uh, Digital if you're doing something like uh, high-end customer uh, work or your you're working on a new portfolio or something like that but for gifts i would wouldn't suggest uh, them because they're quite expensive they also have two types of books uh, available photo books basically they have um 
the normal line and they have also a pro line so the normal one has uh, um, in general they have less options from sizes uh, of the books so the normal one um, has 15 by 21 21 by 28 uh, and they also have the square ones 15 19 and 28 squares and they have the port, uh, the landscape ones 21 15 28 19 and 42 28 uh, for the pro line they have uh, even less options they have 22 30 21 21 30 by 30 uh, 30 by 21 and 40 by 30 they do have uh, more options on the uh, uh, types of printing so you you either have glossy you have matte you have high-end printing matte also you have art print the photo books from Sal do come uh, with options which I do like um, some are paid some are free so for example they have amazing gift boxes but they cost a lot of money unless I have for example a customer that paid a lot of money for his work and I'm preparing his album or if it's someone really close to me I wouldn't order this uh, gift box because just for a box it, uh, to pay like 50 or 60 euros it's crazy uh, they do offer an option uh, that is free to not have a barcode uh, on your book so for example all the Vista Prints uh, books come with a barcode on the back and this cannot be removed or at least I didn't find an option uh, and if there is an option most likely it's paid they also you know, provide uh, two types of thickness of the pages you have uh, thick pages and extra thick pages in general the the, the one that are considered standard on their website is uh, way more thicker than uh, what for example I got from Vistaprint and this comes with an added bonus that basically you can open the, the book uh, without any bendings on top of the pages and you can print an entire panorama throughout two pages which is amazing i'm gonna show you in a moment the books i have uh yeah as i mentioned as well uh before their software comes in english and german which is a bonus but i did find it a bit limiting from features so i guess that's pretty much it from the presentation apart on what the different companies offer what i've used and uh, my first impressions so now we're going to get into the comparison be uh, between their products so what I want to start with is basically just so you can get a feel for the pricing of Vistaprint and Sal Digital regarding books is just to show you so this is the book that I got from the, uh, Sal Digital you can see how big it is basically next next to me and this thing cost as much as my wedding album which is yeah you can see it's quite bigger i cannot even fit it into the frame uh also my wedding album has like almost 200 pages and and this one has like 90 although they are the same thickness and the, the difference comes from the thickness of the pages from from sal basically you can see how thick the page is but as i said this comes with this bonus that this is pretty much flat you can see when you lay the book like that it stays pretty much flat i'm gonna use the smaller from vistaprint because it's easier while vistaprint you can see the bending and basically that you cannot use it it, it almost closes automatically so it's a bit harder to use it for panoramas i'm gonna show you just how a panorama looks on the on the uh, South Digital one, you can see both pages. It's completely flat. It looks amazing. I did print basically a second version of my portfolio because I had a small travel one. What's weird? What's weird here is that Vista Print used another type of leather for the small one than they've used for the big one. And the big one, that's my wedding album, and the one from South Digital actually have the same type of leather. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be visible on the camera. Both use the same type of letter. Um, for the 
small ones in Vistaprint they use another type of leather which personally looked cool when it came but I don't know what's happening even if you just washed it and dried your hands whenever you touch it it leaves, leaves stains and I don't like that much so yeah I have a small one which is a carry-on which is uh, easy to put in my uh, camera bag just in case for references or whatever you never know who might want to see your portfolio and the bigger one is the more luxury one and I wanted to show you the difference because I did notice a big difference in the printing quality I also noticed that Vistaprint does something automatically in their software and if you don't know it exists, if you don't undo it uh, undo this option directly uh, you're going to screw up your prints uh, I mean they're they're going to be usable but uh, they're not going to be uh, to their fullest potential that is an how to uh, optimize option so never use this in any software not SAUS nor uh, Vistaprint just uh, if you have a calibrated monitor trust your monitor and don't trust this auto option and uh, I'm just gonna show you what I mean by the difference here so these are all my four albums that I've got basically big one this one on the bottom here and this one are from Vistaprint and this one is the saw you can see the size difference and you can see that the Vistaprint L is a bit taller but not as wide as the saw one just by basically one finger um, in both directions so for example this print of the Cathedral of Alexander Nevsky in Sofia I've also had it printed by Vista print so first of first of the things I've noticed when looking at this is that here it's much brighter than here and in the end I do think that this one looks more like the version that I had on my laptop and how I've seen it and wanted it to be edit after uh, wanted it to be after editing whereas here they did light up the entire picture a little bit but that came with some problems uh, basically int introduced a little bit of noise in the darker parts as well as this part over here looks a little bit more yellowish than the one here So you might remember this photo from the Sony A65 review a photo. If you haven't actually seen that video, there's gonna be a pop-up right now. Make sure to go and check it out. Here, we do have the same issue like with the one with Alexander Nevsky, but because this photo was during the day, we don't have that much dark uh, stuff in the, in the picture. Uh, it actually works in this uh, print. Um, we can also see the differences in the formats. Uh, basically here, I had to leave a lot of room, unlike here. Uh, so that is also one thing. <clears throat> uh, but I did manage, I, I did find it a bit tough to fit images on a full, full page uh, with both Vistaprint and so. We can also use another example here, is this photo in here although it's a bit darker um, I would say that both ones uh, that both photos work but as I said initially yeah so digital printing is way closer to what I've expected to, it to be uh, as a print version since we have the saw album here I'd like to show you as well as the panorama it's almost completely flat here and they've printed it so good until the edge that here it's uh, basically almost not notice noticeable unlike if you use a vista print you can see basically it's even hard to keep it open if you're not holding it like this and you can see the barcodes over here um, that's pretty annoying although when i don't have any engraving like i have on this one I have uh, actually that's laser engraving and it's possible on both Sao and Vistaprint. 
when you have the barcode here it's a bit easier to notice uh, which is the back and which is the front because this one basically you can turn it like this and it looks like it's the front but when you open it it's upside down and, and I cannot show you much from this album because I'm pretty sure my wife will kill me if our wedding photos end up in a, a photography printing review but uh, I'm gonna use some of the photos while I was uh, preparing for the wedding so just to grab a few of uh, how big prints look at this print I'm, and because when an album is this big and it's uh, this heavy because this thing is actually heavy uh, the paper behaves a little bit differently it's not so curved like this album over here so this is in the beginning you can see it's still cur a bit curved um, but it's only on one side and once you reach somewhere in the middle it gets better you can see the print is really really good quality uh, even though it's half the price of this album, uh, I do like the, uh, the quality. Uh, with this album, I did uncheck the auto optimize feature. So I think that helped a lot in getting um, better colors. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, what I can show you right now from the from Sao and uh, Vista print. So yeah, just a quick summarize. Um, Vista print is cheap and uh, provides decent quality. So are the expensive ones provide better quality. I wouldn't say that the amount of money that's, that you pay on top um, justifies the, the quality uh, because I mean it's always like that with things. Uh, the more you pay, the smaller the difference in quality it is but they do provide a higher quality so if it's a must to have higher quality i would suggest so if it's okay with decent level quality and or you are on a budget and you want um, a good looking photo book or just to get your first print and you don't want to invest too much money i would suggest vista print and poster xxl i would suggest for any types of printings that are related to hanging something on the wall or, or getting it framed or whatever. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions regarding the three companies and my experiences. I will try to answer uh, every single question that comes my way. And uh, in the end, thanks for sticking around with this uh, video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was informative. If it was, leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe for more videos from me. Thanks for watching again and see you on my other videos. Bye.